Welcome to Pro Kitchen University, an online video tutorial series, version 11. This video is part of the Mac Native Interface series for Mac users only. In this video, we will take a look at all of the features and tools available in the File tab drop down menu. We will review opening, closing, and saving a design, take a look at the available export and import options learn how to uninstall a catalog and create a design backup file, review all of the print setup, preview, and template options, and check out the Dynamic Design Showcase presentation tool. The File tab is located at the top left of your Pro Kitchen window and gives you access to important tools and features that will be needed as you go through the design process. Let's go ahead and navigate to the first tab on the top left of your screen and left click on the file tab. Once selected, it will reveal a drop down menu. Here you will find a list of items including new, open, delete, and close a design, save options including to the cloud and computer, export and import options, uninstall catalog, backup design, print, setup, preview, and templates and Dynamic Design Showcase, our in-software presentation tool. Let's start at the top and take a look at each of these in more detail as we work our way through this menu. The first item is New. When you hover over New, you will see a slide-out menu to the right. New Design, when this is selected, it will open the Design Settings dialog box where it will allow you to easily create and save a new design file. However, it will close you out of your current design. New Customer, when this is selected, it will open a dialog box where you can add new customer information for the current design. Then select the OK button at the bottom right. New Designer and New Supervisor, when either of these are selected, a dialog box will open, allowing you to add new information regarding the designer or supervisor. Once added, Simply select the OK button at the bottom right to close the dialog box. Next item is Open. This allows the user to open the designs from available folders locally on the device, from recently used folders on the device, or from the cloud. Delete Design. This option will delete your current design. Close Design. If you select this item, it will close the current design. Save to Cloud and PC. This saves the design to the cloud and to your PC. Save to Cloud As allows you to save the design with a different name or in a different location in the cloud. Save to Computer saves the current design to the computer. Save to Computer As. This allows you to save the design with a different name or in a different location on your computer. Save Layout Image. This will allow you to save a plan or elevation view as a JPEG to your device. Once selected, a dialog box will appear. At the right end of the View text field, there is a drop-down menu allowing you to select the view you would like to save. Next, select the Browse button to determine what folder you would like the JPEG to save to. Size X refers to the width of the image. You can adjust by highlighting the text and typing in the dimension, or by using the arrows to the right. The left one will go up and down by inch, and the next arrows will adjust by fraction. Size Y refers to the height of the image. Again, adjust to your preference by typing in the dimension or utilizing the arrows. Design Backups. This provides access to the created backup files for the current design. Once selected, it will open a dialog box to show the current list of files available. Export. This allows you to export information from the software in a different format for various programs. The first option is AutoCAD. This one will export designs to AutoCAD in DXF file format. When selected, it will open a dialog box in which you can determine which designs and elevations that you would like to export and gives you a Browse button to determine where it will save the file. Google SketchUp.3DS. 
This one will open a browser folder to select the correct save location for that 3DS file. We can also export to QuickBooks, both to desktop and to online versions. Be sure to have QuickBooks open before selecting this option. You can save as a QuickBooks Customers or Design.iif file or as a QuickBooks Customers or Design online file. Oculus Rift.rvo. This is the 3D VR file to be used with the Oculus Rift. This will also allow you to choose where you would like this file saved. ProKitchen User Data.zip. This exports software, customer info, and default settings to import to ProKitchen on a separate device. Once selected, you will see a dialog box in which you may select which information you would like included in the zip file. This is a great way to have your setup similar for either multiple devices or for use at different locations. Cabinet Vision Solid Order File. This is our legacy feature and no longer functions. However, we are now integrated with Cab Builder, which is our sister software and an excellent custom cabinet software program. Import. Import allows you to import information into Pro Kitchen software in your design file. The first one, AutoCAD.DXF. This will import AutoCAD designs that are in DXF format and allow you to read them as read-only plans. InnoDraw.XMLP. This will import InnoDraw designs created in the InnoDraw software. This is a measuring software intended for on-site measuring and does give 99.99% .99 accuracy. The next one, ProKitchenUserData.zip. Here is the option to import those ProKitchen software and customer data files that have been saved from another device. ProKitchenSolutions.grp. This gives you access to import GRP files, which are saved solutions. Solutions are groups of cabinets that have been saved from another design to be used again for future designs. EtemplateDesignFile.edf. Here you can import EDF files from various measuring softwares. QuickBooks Online Customers. By selecting this one, you can import customer information from QuickBooks Online. And the last one is 2020 Design File or our .kit file. This option will allow you to import 2020 designs as a .kit file. Uninstall Catalog. This brings up a dialog box where you can select any catalog you wish to uninstall. Select catalogs by putting a check in the box to the left of the catalog. Then click on the uninstall button at the bottom right of the dialog box and they will be removed from the list. Then select OK at the bottom right. This will then close you out of your design. Another way that you may find easier is to uninitialize catalogs in the catalog panel at the bottom left of your screen. Select the catalog you wish to remove, click on the Uninitialize tab at the top, then select the Uninitialize button to the right of the catalog. This catalog will now become gray and uninitialized. Next one is Backup. This will create a backup file of your current design and puts it in the backup folder. Next items are Print or Print Preview. Print if you select this, we'll open your print options. Here, you can set your print source and whether you want color or black and white. You can select the number of copies and which pages you would like printed and in what format. Print Preview will open your print preview options, which will set parameters for printing plan, elevation views, print templates, and stamp. Again, you can select your printer, then page format which is portrait or landscape. Next, you can select a resolution setting, vector versus roster. For Pro Kitchen, usually roster is best for the images. Then select your scale, whether fit to page or by setting the ratio. You can print the entire design or just what is displayed. In the page range, you can select all views, current view, plan views, elevation views, or selected views. Click on the browser button, which will open a dialog for you to place a check mark for each plan or elevation you wish to print. Then you can decide if you would like the border shown, 
the print stamp shown, which is the custom footer, or if you prefer to have everything print in grayscale, meaning black and white only, and this would include the images. Last, it gives you a button to access your stamp form. This will open up that dialog and allow you to edit your stamp form before printing. Once these are all set to your preferences, select the OK button at the bottom right corner of the dialog box. Next is Print Templates. This is an excellent tool allowing for professionally creative and consistent printout options. At the top right, next to Page Format, you will see three dots. When you click on the dots, it will open up the Page Setup dialog box to set these to your preferences. Then you can select the template of your choice and click OK at the bottom right. Here is where you can add your images, bill materials, and other items to each of the views. Once those have been added, select the print icon at the top left to print or the PDF icon to create a PDF to send to your customer. To close, left click on the red button at the top left of the page and again at the top left of the template page. Dynamic Design Showcase. This is a professional presentation application right within ProKitchen software that allows you to create fully customizable presentations for your customers. Once selected, it will open a print settings dialog box where you can set the page format, the number of pages you would like for the presentation, and whether you would like the print stamp on or off, as well as the grayscale and border. Select OK at the bottom right to open the Dynamic Design Showcase application. The instructions on using this tool are reviewed in a separate tutorial titled Dynamic Design Showcase, which is available on our website. The last item on the File tab menu is Home Page. Once selected, this will ask you to save the design. Click Yes and it will save it and a dialog will pop up with the message saying Design Successfully Saved. Click OK, which will then close your design and launch the web browser to the ProKitchen software, ProKitchen online page, where you can download the software or access the video tutorials page. Now that we've reviewed all the items on the file tab, you should feel much more comfortable creating new and or saving designs, exporting and importing important design information, and backing up your designs. With all of the printing, template, and presentation tools, you will feel even more confident in presenting your beautiful creations to your customers. Thank you for visiting Pro Kitchen University. Be sure to visit us at ProKitchenSoftware.com.